Ooh. Good fish, too. Is it? Looks like a pretty good fish. Ooh, that's oh, a nice yeah, one. that's a nice fish. Ooh, Real that's a nice really fish. dandy. That was a really cool bite because I was bringing it in and I felt it kind of almost get hung up on a rock. And as soon as I got it off the rock, it just kind of went slack. And sure enough, he had it engulfed. Look at that one. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Nice fish, Casey. That's a dandy. I'm not gonna lie, I could have used this one on Saturday when I was out here. That would have been a big help uh, right in the mouth. So you got beat up a little bit. I've actually seen it where these, uh, these smallmouth will, I've caught them with their mouths all bloody because they're chasing crayfish so hard in the rocks. I thought that was a crayfish, look at that. Hey guys, today we're fishing the Wisconsin River with uh, Chris Bishop from Missouri. Uh, we're gonna be start targeting post-spawn smallmouth. Kind of a tough, tough conditions with uh, the post-spawn, it's been super hot. Um, today we're gonna cover top water through some crankbaits and some jerkbaits. We had to uh, trick this guy with a crankbait. There he is. <laughs> I knew they'd eat a top water. <laughs> Not a bad fish either. No, chunky little one for post spawn too. Casey's up there, he just got a nice fish on a crankbait. Um, we're doing two really different techniques. I mean, these smallmouth, we're in a river fishery, it's relatively shallow. They're pretty aggressive, so I'm kind of, you know, doing my normal thing, which is throwing a walking bait. This is a little 75 millimeter 3D RX pencil, and this guy thought he was getting himself breakfast and ended up with a spot on TV instead. Oh, good fish too. Nice. Oh, nice smallmouth, Chris. Yep, nice fat smallmouth. Woo. Wow. That you is nice. Grab him? You're gonna grab them? You're gonna play guide? Sure. Ooh, that's a dandy. Yeah, I'll bring Ooh. There, there he is. <laughs> Look at that one, Chris. Nice, very nice. That one's a little bit stockier too. Just working these rock shorelines like you see right here. I mean, that was just the perfect spot. And I threw it, we're throwing real tight to the bank and then just working it down, really staying in contact with the bottom, staying in contact with these rocks is key. If you're just swimming that crankbait, probably not gonna get a bite. With that crayfish colored bait bouncing off the rocks, it's perfect presentation for these guys. And that is a pretty small mouth. Beautiful, chunky river fish. Look at the colors on that thing. I mean, just a gorgeous fish. So we're gonna get her back, do her thing, and there she goes. Today, we've really been focused on one series by Yozuri, and that's the 3D RX series. It covers everything from top waters to 10 to 12 foot deep diving crankbaits. Finally, the wind started blowing. This morning was really still, and that little 75 millimeter size pencil was the ticket. We got a lot of bites on that and the small popper, but the key is we're throwing to tight areas with a light bait, so it makes you know a really finesse presentation. There's a ton of pressure on these fish, and there's a ton of pressure on fish all around the country now. So downsizing your baits, one, to match the prey that they're feeding on, but also two, it's more of a finesse technique because these fish are just getting hammered nowadays. It's a small series, internal painted finishes that never wear off, multi-species, you can fish them anywhere from small bodies of water, you know, local ponds and streams to big bodies of water like the Wisconsin River. There he is. That is a nice one, I think. Yeah. Ooh, a nice one, Chris. That was cool. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful jump. Come here, buddy. Nice. That was a pretty fish with a mouthful of 3D RX popper. Stumbled onto some schooling fish that are pushing these little baits around. And this little 3D RX popper with that shine in the sun looks like just one of, I mean, spitting image of what they're eating right now. Nice little chunk. People think of top waters, they naturally think of solid colors, I think. You know, in a lot of cases, you, the first color you think of is bone. That's just a great all around color. Another sleeper color of a, of a low light conditions color is an all black. That's a great low light conditions. But when you're in a situation like we are right now, we're catching schooling fish that are running around chasing bait, 
It's 3.30 in the afternoon, bright sunshine, not a cloud in the sky. This translucent 3D pattern, that's really where these 3D patterns shine. And I think I think you're gonna have to uh, make it switch there, I'm buddy. I'm gonna be changing baits <laughs> right now after you know, four to one, maybe. Ooh, Ooh nice, one. nice fish. That was cool. You might uh, have came close to your record, Chris, with two to three feet out of the water there. Nice fish. I was throwing black, could not get bit. My second cast with uh, this natural silver, as soon as he's ready. Okay. That's a chunk. Nice fish, Casey. That way to end the day on an awesome topwater bite. That was just absolutely epic, Chris. That was a blast. <laughs> what did we catch there in the last hour? Maybe 15 fish on, uh, on boppers? Probably watching them school on like piranhas. That was awesome. Yep. Chris, where can we find more information? www.yo-zuri.com. So check out our website. Also can check us out on our YouTube page, Instagram, and Facebook. Always uploading new information on a weekly basis about the new Yozuri baits and what we've got going on, so check them all out. I'm Casey Knapp, Midwest Outdoors, we'll be right back.